the channel Ready Study. In this channel, you will get some innovative videos of maths and science based on CBSA curriculum. Please go through these videos, share among your friends, subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Hello, good morning children. Today we will study about fiber to fabric which is your lesson number 3 in NCRT book. We all know that there are three basic needs of all living beings. These are food, clothing and shelter. We already have studied about food in our previous chapter and now we will discuss about clothing that is fiber to fabric. How do we get clothes? All clothes are made up of fibers. From the fiber we get yarn and from the yarn we get fabric and from the fabric we make clothes for ourselves. Firstly you should know what are the definitions of fiber, yarn and fabric. What is fiber? A fiber is an extremely thin strand of a material. It is elongated. Once again I am repeating the definition. A fiber is an extremely thin elongated strand of a material. Now second we should know the definition of yarn. What is yarn? A yarn is a comparatively thicker strand of a material which is made by twisting many fibers together. And number three is fabric. Fabric means cloth. A fabric is made when many threads are woven together. And from the fabric we make clothes. Now first heading is steps to get a fabric. Uh, number one is fiber. Fiber will convert into yarn and yarn will convert into fabric. So these are the three steps to get a fabric. Next is types of fiber. There are two types of fiber. First is natural fiber and the second is synthetic fiber. Natural fiber means those fibers we get from nature. Like uh, in natural fiber we have two categories plant fiber and animal fiber. From the plants we get cotton and jute. Besides these we get kapok, hemp and linen also from the plant fiber. And from the animal fiber we get silk and wool. So in this way we have two categories natural, synthetic. In the natural categories again we can divide into two categories plant and animal. The examples of plant fibers are cotton, jute, linen, hemp, kapok. And in the animal fiber we get wool and silk. In the same way we can give the examples of synthetic fibers too. The examples of synthetic fibers are polyester, nylon, rayon, terylene etc. So you all must have understood what are plant fibers and how do we get it natural fiber and we get cotton from the plant cotton plant it requires warm climate to grow in india cotton plants are grown in gujarat and maharashtra black soil is best suited for the growth of cotton plants we get cotton fibers from the fruits of cotton plants which are known as cotton bowls. We use cotton fiber for making cloth, for making pillows, 
मैट्रेसेस विक्स विक्स मींस द दिया बाती में जो बाती हम जलाते हैं दे आर नोन एज विक्स दीज आर आल्सो मेड अप ऑफ कॉटन ओके नाउ द स्टेप्स फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग कॉटन फैब्रिक फ्रॉम फाइबर्स इन दिस हेडिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज पिकिंग when the cotton fruits get mature they burst open to show the cotton fiber the cotton fibers are picked up by the workers and collected at a place second step is ginning the process of separating seeds from the cotton fiber with the help of a wooden comb is called ginning as the cotton fibers contain seeds so these seeds are separated from the fibers by combing and ginning is done by hand or by machines also the third step is spinning the process of making cotton yarn from the cotton fibers is called spinning it is done by simple machines like takli which is also known as spindle and charkha which is also known as spinning wheel it can also be done by machines number 4 is weaving the cotton yarns are arranged together to make a cotton fabric weaving is done either by hand or by power looms the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is known as weaving this is the definition of weaving the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric it is done with the help of machines called looms and the, these looms are of two types number 1 hand loom and number 2 electric or power looms after cotton the next example of plant fiber is jute jute is also a natural fiber and it is obtained from the stem of a jute plant it is present inside the bark of the jute plant these plants are grown in rainy season it requires hot and humid climate the temperature ranges from 24 degree celsius to 35 degree celsius and it requires heavy rainfall of near about 120 cm to 150 cm sandy or clay loam soil is best suited for the growth of jute plants west bengal bihar and assam are the main states where jute grows well after knowing about jute plant we are going to discuss about the steps for getting jute fiber and fabric jute plants are harvested at flowering stage the stalks of jute plants are tied in bundles and immersed in water for about 20 days the stems rot and a sticky substance holding the fiber is removed the fibers are beaten with hammers to loosen them the process of extracting jute fibers from its stem by immersing or rotting the stem in water to remove the sticky substance is called retting after retting the fiber is removed the fiber is then stripped rinsed washed cleaned and dried in the sun it is then pressed into bales b a l e s it is then pressed into bales this raw jute is processed in jute mills to produce jute yarn and then fabric and in the last we'll discuss about the uses of jute jute is used to make gunny bags means bori ropes strings carpets door mats 
etc. If you have any doubt or query regarding these topics, you may surely write your questions in the comment box and your queries will be answered definitely.